Ciao Louis. Here we are. We are at uh, Lac Polonais, also known as Lac d'Argent. Uh, it's where the uh, family cottage uh, is. I uh, just decided to make a stop, see if anyone was around. Doesn't look like there's much people around here, but uh, we'll still go take a look. Just gonna walk up here to the cottage. I haven't been here in probably four or five years, actually. It's been a long time. So many memories coming here as a child. I love this place. Best seat in the house is this rocking chair. Get much better than this. Could be sunnier, but it's still a beautiful view. Pretty uh, challenging uh, landings uh, today. Um, haven't flown seaplanes in a while, and uh, most of the conditions today are at all glassy water. It's currently noon and there's still basically no wind, just like a slight breeze. So yeah, the wind should pick up a little bit early this afternoon. And we will uh, head on out to Amas, Abitsubi. So I used the term uh, glassy water earlier and uh, just in case some of you don't know what that is. Uh, it's basically when the water is pretty much like a mirror and then you see over there um, there's a slight ripple on the water. That's because of the breeze or when I landed there was no breeze so it was mirrored water. Basically the danger of that is that um, you have no depth perception. So technically even if we have an altimeter it's not precise enough. So you basically don't know what height you're at so you got to base yourself off the shoreline uh, which is usually the best bet. Uh, of course you got to be careful if there's if you're near the shoreline there might be rocks and stuff like that. So you gotta be careful for that bit. So when you're coming in, basically you wanna have like a very, very low uh, vertical speed, so a low rate of descent. 
and a bit of power on for sure because you want to fly the airplane on at a really low rate of descent. So yeah, we're going to head on out of here. A little bit of oil for the motor. I just programmed my route in the GPS. Ready to go. Pretty easy uh, startup procedure. So throttle is idle, carb heat is in, mixture is rich, fuel tank selector is on, and uh, key goes on both magnetos. Crack the throttle open, and it should technically fire right 